Hola, me llamo AJ. ¿Cómo puede ayudar? So it's Truth or Dare Week again, you guys. Seem to love this. It's the most wonderful time of the year when we do Truth or Dare Week. So I'm not going to pick as many dares as I am truths just because a lot of the dares, like we're drinking egg, raw egg, and eating cinnamon on a spoon. And it's kind of like, I don't know, I value my health, so I'm probably not going to do those. And like Jess said, I'm not going to give Melody a lap dance because that's just compromising my own self. And I'm not going to do that. Um, but I will do these. Uh, Mikey, or <clears throat> excuse me, um, one, two, three, Mikey Go wanted me to show off my best roller derby skills, which was a great question because I just was roller skating in the hallway in Vegas. It's not easy as it looks, ladies and gentlemen, skating on carpet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, big finish, big finish. <laughs> yes! I'm gonna mohawk. Okay, mohawk. Yeah! <laughs> I'm ready to sign up. Oh, that was impressive. Watch out, ladies. So don't get jealous over my roller derby skills. I know that a lot of you want to know how to mohawk like I did. And um, yes, that's my roller derby skills. And yes, my ass was hanging out of my pants. But that's what happens when you're in Vegas. Stuff happens. Um, just McLovin asked if we've ever been arrested. And I've never been arrested. I'm a good person. Not that if you've been arrested, you're a bad person, but I just have, I have a clean record. Um, Jigglypuff Girl wants to know a fashion mistake. I actually do have a fashion mis mistake to show you. Hold on. I gotta take it out of the. I gotta pull it down off the shelf. I should have been more prepared, but I'm not. All right. So this is my fashion mistake. I thought that this shirt was really cool when I first bought it. In fact, I've made videos in this shirt a couple years ago, but it's this lavender shirt and I was really into Modern Amusement the brand back in the day but it's like a lavender purple shirt with like a crow on it on the pocket I thought this was so rad but it's a lavender polo shirt that I will never wear again and I should probably just give it away but it's one of those things you hold on to just because like you think one day maybe I'll wear it again but I don't think I'll ever be wearing the uh, lavender polo shirt again okay there was a dare to moonwalk across the floor I don't know how to moonwalk. Melody started to teach me in, in, when we were in Vegas waiting to check in our hotel. So she's told me now to take off my shoes and I'm going to try and moonwalk for you. So walk me through how to do it. The moonwalk. Does it look like a moonwalk? No. Oh, damn. I'll try it one more time. Here you go. You push and pull, right? All right, forget it. I can't moonwalk for you, but that was my attempt to moonwalk for your dare. Okay guys, Melody's going to moonwalk and try to not run over the cat, but she's going to show us how it's really done. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to call my brother right now and tell him that I saw his ex-girlfriend at the store, which he probably won't believe anyway because we don't even live in the same city. But uh, I'm going to tell him that I want to date her. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Yeah? Yeah? Eric. Yeah. So I was looking at Jen's Facebook today, you know, your ex-girlfriend? Uh-huh. Do you think she'd be interested in going out with me? Because, I mean, we have the same sense of humor and the same teeth. <laughs> what? Yeah, do you think she, if I message her, she might call me? I think she's cute. I was always jealous of you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No, I'm serious, Eric. She's hot. Maybe if I gave her my number and she'd call me, because then she could also have our same last name. I just don't have the, <laughs> I just don't have the tools you have. So, but we have the same mom, <laughs> the same genes. Um, uh, yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, I'm going to send her a message on Facebook then. <laughs> All right, crazy? thanks. Am I crazy? Yeah. No, I'm just doing a dare for the beaver bunch. Thanks for playing along. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, bye. Right. bye. So that's how you get the fit. You get the whole family involved in Truth or Dare Week. Call my brother in Dallas, tell him I want to date his ex girlfriend. Truth or Dare Week's fun. Now, I'm not quite sure if I understood the dare right, but I think it was to call your favorite beaver or your beaver of preference and tell them that you would date them. So I'm going to, and hopefully they'll answer. Leave a message 
Have you figured out who I'm calling? Lori, it's AJ. I haven't heard your voicemail, and I love it. Oh, you just text messaged me. You're at work. I know. I was calling to tell you that you're my beaver of choice if we were ever to date each other. I would date you because you're so fun and funny, and um, you're so cute for texting me when I call you. I love your voicemail, and everybody else is going to love it, too. So I think I, maybe I could put your singing as part of my singing there. So you killed two birds with one stone for me. Okay, I love you. Bye. All right, so there you go, folks. I would date Lori if I had to date another beaver because I think that Michelle would date Kate and then Jess would just be like the little floater. That's what I think, the little floater. That's gross. So there you go, guys. Keeping the whole family involved in Truth or Dare Week. We call Lori. We call my brother Eric. And I think he probably thinks I'm crazy. And I think you could probably see my reflection in the mirror, which you guys go crazy over because you can see like six of me. But anyway, maybe next time I'll eat the marshmallows and do the cinnamon. But... This week, at my old age, I just, I just gotta be careful. It's not the same anymore. It's 2010, and my time is counting down. So, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for playing along. Please play along. If you can moonwalk, I'd love to see it, because obviously I can't. Call someone in your family, tell me you want to date their ex. It's funny. Bye.